Hey, I'm Doug from Convology, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take this and turn it into this using a brand new feature called Conditional Display. Conditional Display is just a fancy way of saying personalized content. You can create content that's personalized to each visitor based on what you know about them, and we create conditional content with different sets of rules. For example, if a user is logged in, show them one header, and if they're not logged in, show them another. Or if they've purchased your course, show them one call to action, and if they haven't purchased your membership, show them another. There's a ton that we can do with all of this different dynamic content and different rule sets that we can create. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a terrific and really, really easy to build custom member dashboard that has a login element built right into it. And there's a lot of benefits that I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's take a look at what I'm going to build in this tutorial. We have a simple page just built with Thrive Architect inside of my normal theme template using Thrive Theme Builder. And this is my membership site using Thrive Apprentice. So I'm going to show you how easy this is going to be to implement if you have a similar setup. Like I said, we're on a standard page in my theme and I'm using Thrive Architect to edit it. I've added a background section and I've used conditional display on that background section. And we'll go into that in just a second. Now in my default display or in my base display, I have a login form. And this login form has a set of rules that says, if the user is logged out, show them the login form. And then if they're logged in, show them my custom built dashboard. And that's it, just two simple rules. But let's talk about why that's so cool and useful for Thrive Apprentice users. Well, the first is we don't have to have a separate login page. If you're a Thrive Apprentice user, this page looks familiar. You've come here, you've created a login page, and on that login page, you've added a login form. You have your default form, you're editing it to make it look just right, and then you realize what happens when somebody logs in. Well, we can redirect people to a custom page or to an Apprentice Course Index page, and that's great, but what happens if people find their way back to this page? Well, by default, Thrive has this section here called already logged in, but that's kind of not a great user experience. And maybe you sent your login link to somebody who just bought your course, or somehow the user hits the back button and they find their way back to the login page. This is what I call an island, right? It's just a page off on its own. It doesn't really have any purpose other than facilitating the login. What's so great about this version of the login page is that the user will never see the login form or a you're already logged in, click here kind of message that sends them somewhere because the minute they fill out this form, it refreshes and sends them to the dashboard. It's the same page, the same background section using conditional display. So if you're sold on the idea and the benefits of using a conditional display login form dashboard like this, then stick around and let's build it. Okay, so here are the components of this page. Like we went over before, we have our login section that for me consists of a login form, a little bit of marketing material for my membership. And by the way, everything that I'm showing here, I make all of the templates for my YouTube videos available for download and use to members of Convology Pro. In my dashboard, I have a news and update section. I have an upcoming event section where people can go off and RSVP. I have my course library linked. I have the member resource library that I just mentioned a second ago. And then I have a couple other tiles here. So this is a pretty simple page to build. I built it in Thrive Architect. And with all of these components, let's put them into some conditional display to achieve the effect we're going for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a background section. And I'm using a background section because conditional display only applies to containers. So things like background sections and content boxes. Now, if I click on this background section and I scroll down on the left, you'll see this section called conditional display. This was added when Thrive Apprentice 4.0 came out on January 25th, 2022. By default, we have what's called default display, but we're going to add additional displays. Remember, a logged in version and a logged out version. So let's go ahead and start by clicking add display and hover over the orange add display in the bottom left and click the pencil and let's rename this our login form section and click apply. Let's go ahead and add another one and we'll call this one by clicking on the pencil, our dashboard and click apply. Now drag the dashboard above the login form. I found that this works best to ensure that people see the correct version because I think there's some sort of hierarchy in play here and this always achieves the best results for me. Now with our background section selected in the upper left hand corner of the background selection here, you can see we have similar looking tools and details as we have over here in the conditional display section on the sidebar. If we drop down the 
arrow here next to dashboard, you can see we have dashboard and login form. And if I swap between these two, I'm now editing each of those different display sections. So with login form selected, let's go ahead and drag in all the elements that we want to display to somebody who's logged out. So I'm going to bring over my columns for my login form and my little marketing material piece here. And I'm gonna make some tweaks to how it looks, get things to fit nicely in here. I'm gonna make sure I have the content with how I want it, things like that. Now there is one tweak we want to make to this login form. So let's go ahead and click on the login form in the upper left-hand corner of the left sidebar, go to main options, and where it says submission actions right here, we don't want to redirect to a custom URL. We want to refresh the page. That's because we're never leaving this page. It's all happening on one page and just being controlled by conditional display. So now that, that option is done, we're done with the login section. Let's use our drop down and go to our dashboard section. And you can see that all the edits, including the margins and things like that, are gone. So let's go ahead and make some very quick adjustments to the margins here of our content area and also to our padding to make sure it matches our other one or at least matches what we want it to look like. And now let's drag in our different sections to build our dashboard. So I'm going to go to columns, I'm going to drag in my first set of columns that has my news and updates and my RSVP for coming events. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab the columns for my dashboard and I'm going to drag them below the columns that I just added. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna get rid of some of these extra little background sections that were brought over when I imported my templates. Now, that looks pretty good. I can make any custom updates I want here. I could maybe add personalization with some dynamic text that says, hey, name, welcome to the dashboard. I can do whatever I want. I just wanna make sure that I've done it inside of the background section with dashboard selected. Thrive's also given us a brand new section over here on the right hand side at the very bottom of the right sidebar that looks like these little slide rules. If I click on it, you can see that I have a background section with three displays, my default display, my login form, and my dashboard. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off my default display and I'm only gonna have my login form and my dashboard version. All right, we're not done yet. We actually have to apply the rules so that Thrive knows which version to show our visitors. With our login form showing in our display here, I'm going to click on this little slide rule option here and I'm going to see now that I can set up conditional display rules. So I'm going to display this content when the user is not logged in. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are all sorts of different rules here. You can say when the user owns a course, when you're on a certain page, when all kinds of different things, they have access to things, etc. But for this, like I said, we're keeping it simple. And I'm going to just give this rule a name and I'm going to call this user is not logged in. I told you it was really simple. All right, now we're going to change to our dashboard. I'm going to click the slide rule again and we're going to create another rule. I'm going to display the content when the user is logged in. And we're going to give this a name and call it user is logged in. And then click save conditions. Told you it was easy. Let's test this now to see how it works and to make sure it works just like we want. So I've opened up a new incognito window and I've gone to my clone of the dashboard demo that I made and I'm going to enter my account credentials and I'm going to log in. And I'm gonna do it in real time so you can see it happen. All right, time to see if it worked. I've got my test credentials in and now I'm going to click login. And there we go. It worked, I've logged in and now I have access to the dashboard. It was instantaneous, you saw it in real time with me. Now when I click log out in the upper right hand corner using one of Thrive's really simple display rules that says if they're logged in, show them the log out button, if they're logged out, show them the log in button, I'm going to click that. And you can see it's immediately loaded me over to the dashboard again. And just for good measure, let's enter our credentials again. And let's log in. And there we go, super easy. You can now give your users a seamless experience using conditional display. Like I mentioned, this template and more are available to Convology Pro members. That's kind of like my all access membership where I give access to all of my courses along with my other goodies and tutorials and workshops and things like that. And if you're interested in more Thrive Apprentice content, I have a new course, Thrive Apprentice to Master 4.0 that goes over all of Thrive Apprentice's brand new updates. And I'll put a link in the description to that if you're interested. That's gonna do it for this video. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next one.